Virginia Madsen, everybody. As a sort of birthday present, I would dress up as a real-life Barbie for you. Tonight. You look like, if Barbie looked like you, I'd still be playing with her. Uh, how are you? You look I'm well. I'm good. I'm very well, thank you. How you get two movies open? How did that happen? Uh, you know, I don't know, but I, it's a very bizarre experience, and luckily the two movies are so different that I'm one's able to One's about keep... a number, and one, the astronaut farmer, well, what could that possibly sort of, be about? You know, you know. Well, one is like Jim Carrey going mad. Right. And... Billy Bob going t into space. Right. The other one. So I'm kind of able. They're both sort of men with obsessions. And you're supportive to both of them? Oh, yes, very. Ah, God that bless you. That was my yeah. past life as well. Really? Very supportive of dysfunctional men. <laughs> <laughs> no longer. If only I'd met you back in the day. <laughs> oh, I know. We would have matched. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what? Have you been doing going around with Billy Bob? I mean, I, I yeah. saw him in Miami. Of course, he's a Colts fan. You're he, from Chicago. Yes, yeah. I know. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Well, you know, being that we were so married in that movie, we kind of agreed to just not discuss. Right, okay. Just so. not mention the game. And then when I saw all the rain and rain, I knew he was so miserable there. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw him that night. Miserable is not the word yeah. I would have used. But he did enjoy seeing you, yeah. so he says Oh, no, well. he's a terrific guy, Billy Bob. And, and so you, you go around, do you tour? With these, yes, with these we've movies, actually, actually... Well, with 23, we did all the press, like, in one place for, like, four straight days where you do... Like 175 interviews in one day. What? But oh. that must drive you crazy because the yeah. people ask the same thing over and over and over again, right? Well, a lot of times, I mean, I think all the the journalists or the in quote journalists, right. you know, they're all trying to be a little bit different, so right. they're trying to be creative because they know that. But you know, by the end of the day, you're kind of like, yeah, this is incredible. I love working with Jim Carrey. It's incredible. Yeah. And by yeah. the end of the day, you just feel like the stupidest woman in the on the planet, and so boring. And I just sort of just. Am are like you this. are you very tough on yourself? Do you do that? Are you very judgmental on yourself? Do you give yourself <laughs> a hard time? No, no. I just I just know that that. Uh, I just know that by the end of the day, I'm just blank. Yeah, you know yeah, what I, mean? no, I try right. to be entertaining with it all. And well, try I, not it's to be it's critical, like when I come out to do the show here, I start, try to be entertainment and I just blank. I know. <laughs> That's usually at the start of the show. How, do, you have a, do you have a tattoo? I got a tattoo when I was in Miami. I, I have you? several tattoos. Several? Yeah. Now, I heard that an odd number is unlucky. <laughs> How many do you have? I have four. Oh. See, no, an even number is unlucky. That's why I heard. Really? Maybe yeah. that's what's been my problem. That is your problem. Obviously, with the two big movies coming out, you're obviously very unlucky. I'm so yeah. glad you told me that. Because yeah, you need another tattoo. I do. And, yeah. and do you as well? Uh, yeah, why not? Maybe. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's get, let's, well, what would you let's get? Let's go get tattooed together, Craig. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yes! All right! Now, when was the last time a woman said that to you? Uh, actually, uh... <laughs> You know, it's about 15 years actually since anyone said a that. A sober to me. woman. Yeah, right. Said that a sober to you. woman, I don't think, has ever said that to me. So, what about the, the astronaut farmer then? Are you into anything like that? Are you into astronauts or farming? Are you into. Uh, do you like space or uh, ranches? Uh, well, in this case, of course, I enjoyed both. Really? And no one actually asked me that during the whole press junket. So, oh, wow. That's it then. I'm the new Barney Slash. The, uh, what, what is, are you a horsewoman? Are you a farmer? Because you're from the Midwest. Do you do anything? Oh, uh, you know, I'm not really a horsewoman. I, I love to ride, but I'm not very good at it. But I love it, and I try really hard. Yeah. So I do it as much as I can. That's me as well. I um, really throw myself into stuff with enthusiasm. I'm not good, but I'm very enthusiastic. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be right back with Virginia Madsen, everybody. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? What? It's all 23. My birthday, 23. Driver's license, social security number, everything. I was born at 11, 12 p.m. 11 plus 12. It's like it's imitating. You can't be serious. The author knows so much about me. It's as if he chose me. Is this what you've been doing all day? Have you finished the book? Not yet. You've concerned yourself with minutia and you've drawn wild conclusions from them. What about the fact that Fingerling becomes a killer? A killer? And just how many people have you killed?
Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Virginia Madsen. We were talking about show business. Weren't we talking about show business? Probably not. Well, I can't we know. Really you were just making me blush. And yeah, yeah, well, how about yeah. show business? Hey, have you always... <laughs> Have you always been successful? Has it always been all right for you? Did, did you have you ever had any hard, lean times in this game? <laughs> yes, I had a few lean years, but because Sideways you know. brought it all kind of back. Yeah, for you, didn't it? I mean, it was, uh, you know, it was similar to what happened with Billy Bob and Sling Blade. You know, right. both of us had been around for many, many years before we and actually. More than you, though. But when, but at the time, no, about the same. Really? And uh, and he's, he's not looking as well as you are on it. <laughs> Well, I made have I started a little bit later, but uh, so I think you know when you do go through some lean times, it just makes you more grateful. You know, yeah. like I think both of us are just always so grateful to have a job. Do you think, do you think <laughs> Hollywood is a very harsh and unforgiving environment? I mean, people talk about it like that. It's. Do you think it is? Is it? Well, I mean, the thing is, that's I think a trap that a lot of actors get into is that if you're not working and the doors are being slammed in your face, then it's all about blaming, oh, the system and those bad, right. they just don't get me, you know. Yeah. And after a while, I just said, well, I may not make the decisions, but what do I have power over? I have no power over what's going on with them. Right. But I can change myself, and I can make myself stronger and better. How do you and do that? How do you make I yourself I did it in a lot that? of ways. I did sort of everything, body, mind, and spirit. You know, it's like, you need to have a really strong spiritual program, whatever that means to you. Um, I started reading a lot more. Do you do the Kabbalah? Um, a lot of people do the Kabbalah in Hollywood. I, I totally, like, almost did the Kabbalah, but I did uh, the yeah. I know, and I did the Kabbalah water. Oh, Kabbalah water, did, yeah, and yeah. And it's amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just made all the difference. I, I tried to do the Kabbalah, but I'm lactose intolerant, so... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm what I'm insulting. I don't either, but but uh, I, you know, that, uh, obviously that that is a is an ancient spiritual practice that works for yes, lots of people. Yes, so of course. you know, and then my body, I just worked on my body a lot. Yeah, and so. uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. See the results? Yes, but, uh, yes, you you, know. you you did. You did. So I I changed people's minds in a way. I right. mean, for some people, it was just a matter of, you know that oh she got so thin let's call her in you know and then right. other people found an inner strength in me that they'd never noticed before or it wasn't there before right and so that changed a lot of things for me and eventually and the Oscar I got, nomination doesn't, doesn't eventually hurt. I got a nomination yeah, yeah, yeah. because of it hey listen we're, we're always gonna thanks will you say no scooter yeah we have this come and sign up you know, oh, Jay Leno that? has the big giant oh. uh, motorbike to sign for charity we have a Vespa uh, <laughs> we're going to sign it, and then we're auctioning it off for, for a charity later on. Sign it anywhere you like. Let's uh, see. Mm, Let's try it. Keep it to the other side, and then... Yeah, I know. You're yeah, just messing my legs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> How you doing back there, Greg? I'm fine, actually. <laughs> Thank you very much. Until you mention, everybody, we'll be right back. Please welcome the incandescently beautiful Virginia Madsen, everybody. Welcome. Thank you very much for my... Uh, Thank you very much for my for my. Uh, That's a beautiful lay. A lay, yeah. yeah. So we do the. Come on, I want a lay, you joke. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's well, bumping just, into the microphone. Oh, sorry. I, have to I just put it got back from Hawaii, and that's a that's a traditional Hawaiian lay from Maui, where it this is one Maui. that the warrior might wear. Really? Yes. So if a guy came, might come running at you wearing this. Well, yeah, you just. You have see to. that up in West <laughs> Hollywood sometimes as well. I know. I'm wearing flowers. Get back! I'm wearing flowers. <laughs> You'd be surprised they're very fierce there. Oh, no, they, they are. When they want to be. I like Hawaii, though. What were yeah. you doing in Hawaii? I was at the Maui Film Festival. Really? And, uh, and which is the coolest festival I've ever been because you watch movies outside under the stars. Mm, it's just lovely. beautiful. What movies did you watch? Uh, Your I own watched, movies? 
I just watched my movie. Actually. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched uh, I watched a couple of films and uh, one in particular that, that I loved called The Fall. Oh, and, I've had to put uh, oh, this movie. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a this. visual feast. Right. I and, like a feast. And I saw <laughs> and I saw that uh, up on the golf course above right. the ocean in a golf cart next to Alice Cooper in his golf cart. It was so, so cool. Did, were you in, he was in a separate golf cart. Yes, he was. So you weren't making out with Alice in there? Um, yeah. No, no, I, I confess. I He'd not. make out with you, Alice would. Would you, you make out with so? Alice? No, I, he's married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he never told me that when he was on the show here, though. Well, that was well, like backstage. <laughs> 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 Although there was that young man in the sandwich shop that I saw that was luscious. What? <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> no, nothing happened. I All just... right. You saw uh, an attractive young man in a sandwich shop, though? I did. And he was quite sweet and made me a sandwich, and that was all. I swear, I promise that was all. Are you dating Jared? <laughs> You're dating Jared. <laughs> He sent a pair of his pants here to the show, didn't he? The, the giant pants. Uh, no. God, that was so random. I was like, Jared? Yeah, Jared, the subway guy. The subway guy, no, 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 no he's I... not my type. Did you get an award or something at the... Uh... I did. I got the Navigator Award, which has a very, very long uh, explanation, and it basically says, uh, for navigating the turbulent waters of the entertainment industry while still maintaining my sense of personal creativity and integrity. I think that's it. I think that's the entire mouthful. Yeah. And well earned. Yeah. And that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Do you like the... I like the Hawaiian people very much because they have such a, a, a love of fried spam. I, I didn't have the spam. I've never had the spam. They have a spam that's like rolled in rice and seaweed like a sushi kind of situation it's, it's fantastic do you, I, are you vegetarian no but i'm not a i'm not a spammer i i it's like made of all kinds of pork bits and things I no think. no no just just <laughs> it's just it's spam is short for spiced ham that's all it is spiced ham so hence porky bits yeah no porky bits is a, <laughs> it is craig porky it bits is, is a dancer up no. in west hollywood that's <laughs> spiced ham no. Yes. No, but it's all, I think, the remnants, isn't really, it? Really? Isn't is. it? The re I, I shouldn't say so. that. No, no, all the spam I... people are going to be really mad at me. Now. No, they'll, I, they'll be mad at you, but they'll be sending me free spam. Oh, okay. I, spam is the glorious food of the gods. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't know much about it, but I know that the Hawaiians do lots of very nice things with it. Did you go surfing or anything? I or? did. I learned to surf. You did? I learned to surf for the first time, yeah. And what beach? Uh, I don't know. There was a beautiful tan guy that took me to <laughs> Look, was he I, carrying a I, sandwich? Well, <laughs> he had some spam in a picnic. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet. Uh, no, he it's took uh, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I walked into that one, didn't nah, I? Okay. a little bit, yeah. No, he, he took us out somewhere, I don't know, and, and uh, the, my friend and I and took us out and learned uh, to surf on a couple of longboards, and yeah. I got up, and it was great. The longboards are great. It's really yeah. easy. It's like standing yeah. on a boat. So really. I have to take lessons now. <laughs> And, yeah. uh, no, it's harder than standing on a boat. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit harder. I like to, though. I like to surf. And the only thing was that when you start to get into surfing a little bit, then you hang out with people who are into surfing a lot, and they're jerks. Are they? Oh. Yeah. You just don't want me to go surfing with the blonde guy. Yes! <laughs> yes, exactly. You don't want to be around that sandwich guy. Come on! You're right. Man. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm what about, so over what about it. scuba diving? That's good. That's what, I did that in Hawaii. I did that, but I got a little sick. Really? I got a little ill because I, I think there was a, uh, some tide action or something, and right. so I didn't do that this time. I have a little problem with motion sickness. Right, okay. Well, but snorkeling then. But I, did, I went long boating, though. Long boating? I don't yeah. know where that is. That's the traditional Hawaiian boat, the really long one that has, like, the thing coming off the side. Oh, yeah, the little, and like, little like extra boat And there's, like, six people thing. you sit in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What is that little extra boat on that? Because no well, one's ever on it. Well, it's the balance. It's what keeps oh. you from tipping over. Why don't you just lean that way? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, uh, that's what they told me. Anyway. Right, okay, fair yeah. enough. Hey, you know what we should talk about is, uh, is the movie. Um, oh, that's yeah. right. I yeah. have a movie coming out. Yes, you do. <laughs> Let's get on it. Uh, it looks fantastic. It's my favorite movie I've never seen yet. But it's, uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, I haven't seen it, but it looks great. It's got uh, lovely Matthew Broderick in it. He's great. It's very sweet and Alan Alda. And I it's, love uh, him. Did you get on with him? Oh, yeah. Thank goodness. I just yeah. adore him. It would be if you said, no, I can't stand him. He's a jackass. That would be terrible. <laughs> I probably wouldn't say if, uh, 
Well, yes, maybe I would. No, you might. Would. Actually, I'd get it. Yeah. Uh, but I'd, I'd end up on YouTube, I'm sure. No, um, no, Alan Alda is really nice. Though. Yeah, he's, lovely, he's very he? sweet, and it was a lot of hard work. There was a lot of long, long hours because we had a very small budget, and uh, and it's and, and it's a wonderful alternative to kind of the big blockbusters that are out there right now, and and uh, which I love, love Do to get my go with my son with a big tub of popcorn. What's the uh, what have you been to see of the big block? Have you seen the Kung Fu Panda yet? No, I haven't seen that yet. Actually, Three his times dad's already. taken him Three to all times of them. already. Have you? Oh, Three times. Right. I can probably do the movie for you if you want. <laughs> my son really loves Kung Fu. Yeah. He's crazy for oh, it. Yeah, yeah. How old is your son? he? My, my son is seven. Oh, yeah. Well, mine's 13. Oh, he, yeah. He, he's not for... Yeah, he might like Kung no, Fu. No, he Panda, does. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he would like it, I think. Well, he likes to take his little sister because she's five, so... Perfect. Yeah. No, it's great. But Kung now Fu he's Panda. at the age where I have to take him and, like, leave him at the theater and drop him off and be like... <laughs> I'd be outside with a shotgun. I, I yeah. usually am. Yeah. I'm on the roof, like, yeah, behind I'd be like, yeah. mm -hmm. And okay. I have spies that are, like, in yeah, the theater. Yeah, and the little headset and everything. Yeah, he's going out of the movie theater. Okay, he's safe. Fine. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm... I, I can't. When my son goes to the bathroom, I'm like, you okay? He's like, I'm in the bathroom! <laughs> well, you know, you loosen up a little bit, yeah. you know, because, you, you, you know, he needs more freedom, and he's really super responsible, at least so far, as right. I know. He might not be secretly. No, I'm sure he'll be fine. If he's, yeah. if he's, uh, if he's your son, he can't be anything less. And he's actually, delightful. he's in the movie. He's, no. he, he did, uh, uh, oh, he's going to be so mad, I told. But he, because he, he's so much younger in the movie that he's like, I look too little. But he's, uh, it was his first speaking role because he's got a bit of the acting bug. And so I let really? him come in. And, but he auditioned for it and everything. And, How did he do? And uh, he did really well. Good. Yeah. That is good. Are you going to let him be yeah. an actor? You can't stop him. Well, he's, he's you know what? I, I was really worried about it. I think he's he's over it now. He doesn't want to do it anymore, but Me too. his dad was saying <laughs> I'm telling you. his dad was saying, Well if it's his dream then you got to let him, yeah. You know, my mother really supported me in my dream to be an actress. So if right. that's what he wants to do, I would help him as much as I could. Good for you. We're out of time. It's lovely to see you. I Thank always you. love seeing you. Virginia Madsen, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Virginia Madsen, everybody. Virginia Madsen. You look thank absolutely, you. you're like a, a sort of sexy zebra. Oh, thank you very much. That's nice. That's not actually zebra. And you're sort of in khaki, so it's like a safari That's like thing. I'm the big game hunter Ooh. and you're the zebra. Oh. I'm I'll have to capture you and take you to my tent. And I feel good. <laughs> Like, how are you? Are you well? Oh, good. I'm yeah, really well. You're making well. this thing out in uh, New Mexico? Yeah. Is that right? And that's where you got that, that's isn't That's where it? I got this. Yeah, yeah this is... From, well, I didn't go there. Uh, a friend of mine got me this at the Albuquerque Rattlesnake Museum, yes, which I it's, enjoy. Yes, it's quite a popular attraction there. What? The Rattlesnake Museum. Did you go? No, I didn't. Oh, so not that popular then. <laughs> no, well, no. Why, and, don't you like snakes? Well, I sort of like them in the out of doors. I wasn't really into, like, the museum oh, part Oh, you're one of the snake liberator no. people. <laughs> Well, are like, I, I good. just didn't want to go see them in, you know, like they're up on the walls and things like no, that. No, 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 they don't kill them. Oh, they're live snakes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, no, Had no. Had I no. known that, I would have No, no, gone. no, they put them in tanks and the snakes are moving around and they <laughs> oh, have, they've got cool, little then. wheels to run on and oh. they drive little cars <laughs> and then they form little okay. chains and I go, yeah. it was kind of like, you know, like, uh, like the history of snakes and like there'd be prehistoric no, snakes. No, no, and, no. Oh, okay. Because okay. snakes are pretty much, that's the way they've been for a while. Oh. <laughs> They haven't really evolved. Not much really. Since. So oh, back okay. in the day, there were snakes, it. and they're pretty much the same now. See, you know a lot about snakes now. But there's but not a lot to know. There they were. <laughs> that, that, that. There they are, and yeah. then they end up on mugs and things. Well, like that. Are you in the countryside when you shoot this thing? And no, but I, I, uh, there, there's a lot to do in Albuquerque, so you I can did buy a lot of, turquoise. In Albuquerque. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, I'm into my turquoise yeah. there. There's a lot of hiking and mountain climbing and horseback riding, and there's you rivers. There's the Rio Grande River, so there's a lot of outdoor activities to do there, and I was very into that while I was really? there. Really? What kind of outdoor activities do you enjoy? Um, hiking. I like to look at the stars at night. You go you know? night hiking? Yes, you can go night hiking. On your hiking. own? Uh, no. Oh. You, go, you go with a guide or you go with friends. And uh -huh. 
and you can stand at the banks of the Rio Grande and look at look the clouds. Look at the sky, yeah. yeah. And you then can you drive can drive up to the mountains. Do you know the thing to do is to go to the lake where the sexy teens were murdered one year ago this very <laughs> night. <laughs> Because that's where they go. Then the guy in the hockey mask and everything, it's awesome. That's uh, It's kind of like a horror theme now, like with the snakes and... It's quite, you know, I kind of think... It, what's that other show that they make there? Breaking Bad. That's a... Uh, you ever see that show? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a that, great that, show. Yeah, it's but very... It's like that, that was finished, and so we got... All the crew from Breaking Bad came to work on our show, oh. so... It was like they were constantly talking about Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, so right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I forget yeah. about the scoundrels, Do all you, about Breaking Bad. What about, the, what about the, the hot weather? Do you, are you okay with the hot weather there? Do you it like only it? just now got hot, like right as we were finishing in about... Just at the end of the basketball game? Just at the end. <laughs> yeah, so it was, a, it was a, a beautiful, beautiful weather right up until then. Really? Do you follow the basketball at all? I haven't this year. I haven't followed it at all, and I know what's going on right now. No, it's not. It's finished. That's, yes. <laughs> Because I wasn't following, I didn't realize right, that. Right, yeah, no, it's, it's finished. I totally you? didn't realize Are you, uh, are you a Lakers or, fan or uh, Celtics? Uh, well, Lakers. Oh, I see. But it's hard because I'm from Chicago, so I kind of like don't want to ah, root for right. them. But then I had, I, I got to go courtside one time and then I became an instant fan. It was great. Really? Mm. How did you get to courtside? Oh, every, all the celebrity thing with the LA Lakers. No, you know, that's why I've I never just been. went on a date with a wealthy dude. But you went on a date with I a wealthy did. dude? I went on a date and... I was like, wow, he really likes me. He's like, I'm courtside. Yeah. And then he didn't call me again, so I guess. <laughs> you know. Maybe he's gay. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. I think he's gay. It's because you were gay that you didn't call me back, young man. <laughs> How'd you feel now, wealthy In case dude? he's watching. Yeah. But if he's wealthy, he's got cable. He didn't watch this. <laughs> But I actually, I was thinking of, like, would it be really bad if I called him because I wanted to go courtside for the finals? I think that's though, okay, yeah. No, really? There yeah. would be no shame in that, even no. though I don't like him? You could say to him, look, oh, clearly we're not interested in each other in any way sexually, <laughs> but I really like uh, watching the basketball. Why don't we just go to that together? And then I would put out, and you will not have to take other girls that you might be able to hit on. And, and since you're gay, I And since you're gay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That'd you can, be great. You, what you can say is, you can ogle the players and I'll be your beard. Yes. You can say that. Okay, I'm going to do that. If they go at another game, I'll Yeah, no, that. that'd be kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> um, I've never been there. I went to see the Clippers a couple of times. Yeah? yeah. So, are you... They're not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Oh, God, there's that thing. That's not that thing. Oh, that's hi. Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Oh, yeah. He oh, I know. You've heard his feelings now. Look, he's gone all quiet. I called him a thing, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, no. Let's call him Jeff. Oh. We're all right. Jeff, say hi. No. No, See, man. No, no. No. I, I'm sorry. He's very just, touchy. You know, he he needs to have a meal or something. I'm concerned about him. He, does, he doesn't have a stomach. No. <laughs> See, he's not going to speak to me the whole time now, is no, he? No, no, he'll be lucky. Well, if I am lucky, he will shut up for the rest of the I night, won't. but <laughs> it's too much to hope for. It's lovely to see you. We're out of time already, is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, crackers. Yeah, I know. No, it's great. I always love being here. And I you've love gotten, like, so in shape. You really look fantastic. You should see me with my pants off. <laughs> I should. I really should. I really, I really mean that. You should <laughs> see me with my pants off. See, you do this to me every time I come on, and now, you know, I've propositioned you, you on see, national TV. No, right? you haven't. It's no, really it's, not good. It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> it's great. I think I was the one that started it with my pants off thing. <laughs> anyway, wait, it's time for the commercials. Okay. So, we're good. Fancy an awkward pause? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We haven't done one for a while. Let's have an awkward pause. Okay. Let's have an awkward pause which is sexually charged. <laughs> So, um, Craig. Okay, well, that was fun. <laughs> no, you do not. You do not. I'm sorry. Hell, I'm enjoying myself, jerks. All right, we got to go with that side. Well, the lovely Virginia Madison, everybody. <laughs> because they're opening up this Harry Potter theme park in Florida. But I can't go. Aww. Oh. Aww. I can't go, though. 
know, do you know why? Because I've got a date this weekend with, yeah, someone else <laughs> who's a rabbit. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> don't be <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but don't <laughs> woo it me. She's a <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> I've got a date with a <laughs> cartoon. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> Smell chicken in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, I can't, I can't go to the Harry Potter Wizardy World thing this weekend because I've got to take the kids out. I've got 450 of them. <laughs> so think about being a rabbit. You breed like a <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I cuss there? <laughs> Well, sorry, let me apologise. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sid.